everyone. God bless this desk of a mess. <laughs> oh, this mess of a desk. Anyway, you may wonder what is going on. It looks untypical, but today I thought I'll do this um, fun, well, I'm hoping it's going to be a fun little video where I will recommend some of the um, items or supplies from Dervent if you are a drawing fan. So basically there's going to be a number of things to go through. So let's start with this tin. Now the thing is uh, Dervent actually has a lot of supplies, art supplies, drawing supplies that I don't really pay attention and I wonder if others ever pay attention to them. So one day I thought I'll sit down and just have a good look through their website to see what is there apart from the pencils and these lovely um, uh, paint sets that they have and they're known for. As it happens, they actually do loads of um, other little things like this tin. So this tin is now filled with pencils. And if you remember, I had my graphite tint pencils in this um, tin, which I have spray painted and used for my Roman Schmal watercolors. And I have kept the inside of the tin as it is. And you can see that used to be the Durbant tin. Now they are brilliant to turn them into, um, I think this was the 24 color set, uh, to turn them into little watercolor sets or palettes. Well, not so little because they hold a huge number of paints. That There is a video about that, so I'm not going to go into this. Well, if you're interested, I'll try to link it up here for you. So this was the insert that basically my graphite tints were staying in and getting a bit dusty and not really used that well. So I thought I'll give it a go with this tin. And now they have moved into this beautiful tin. It's not just a tin, it's like a double decker tin. So I've got, uh, it's got a attached lid to it and it has this removable tray. Ta-da! So basically you can take this tray out and you can put some certain colors you're working with or you want to work with like a certain color palette and keep it on the desk uh, or you can have them side by side. There's so much you can do. You can maybe put a couple more here but it's not, the lid is not laying flat. That's the only uh, criticism I would have for that. This tin would be great for watercolor, full pans, half pans, because again, you can load them on both levels and basically work that way. So it's just such a neat idea. And now I feel like it's more organized. So I would highly recommend this tin. It's actually super, super cheap. I think it's really quite affordable. So have a look at this. Um, also, what else do we have? Uh, let's see. If you're a drawing fan, I will also recommend these little, I forgot what they're called, but it's a set that you buy two of them and they are the pencil holders. So if you work with pencils a lot and you end up in a situation where your pencil becomes, your favorite pencil becomes super short, all you do is just unscrew this bit here. You can see you can take it off completely. Uh, insert your uh, pencil. At first it will be a bit tough. Once it goes in it's quite uh, light to move around. Get it to the right length and then fix it in place and voila! You're ready to draw comfortably. The reason I am recommending these is because they have a beautiful coating uh, I will compare the coating to Nars Cosmetics. So it's got this beautiful sleek feeling and both on the silver and the black. I feel that the black possibly has more of it, but equally both are super sleek and, and really nice to touch actually, feel quite good in, the, in your hand. The black one is for smaller pencils 
These are, by the way, great stocking fillers. So if you know someone who's into art, regardless of their age, I think they would love a little selection. What you can also do is, for example, buy a nice little set of Derwent graphite tins. Also, they have a nice set like that of the Durban drawing pencils, which I'll, I'll show you in more detail in a second. What you can do is just take the set apart and divide it, I don't know, by four or something like that, so that you have like a little bunch of pencils. Take a nice little ribbon, tie a beautiful little bow and put them into different stockings so that basically if you purchased a set uh, for, I don't know, 20, 30 pounds, you can then easily make it a 10 pound little bundle of pencils which you can also then add to maybe a little line marker set or something else to make it a bit more um, bigger so to speak or a little uh, set like this so that's another little tip for you now let's move on to the uh, two sets that I will recommend for drawing lowers and stocking fillers is the line and wash set and the shade and tone. So the line and the wash, I'm trying to think, came with these two um, pencils. So, uh, not pencils, uh, markers, fine markers. And they are very, very good. I've done a video where I actually compared all of my fine liners and let's see they're right at the beginning here uh, going from Pigma to Faber-Castell Pitt and Uniposcus and Muji and Stadler Copic Multiliner so all of them Tombow yeah all of them were here and the Durban line maker actually was very very enjoyable I um, I really enjoyed it so but the only two sizes that I have tried, and this is how I came to try them, is through this set, is the 0 0.3 and 0 0.8. So yeah, and I really enjoyed them, and I wanted to try them in more um, thicknesses or thinnesses, uh, and also wanted to try another color. So I'll get to that in a second, but basically you get this set with two line markers. And you have a nice variety of ink tents, graphite tint, and pastel shade um, paints in here. So I have a nice little review with all the swatches on my channel for both of these sets. So I'll try to link them up here for you. That's line and wash. And then the shade and tone, another great little set that I would recommend for drawing lowers. And, and that one comes with three pencils. So the pencils that you get with this set is a Durban graphic, 3B, uh, then you get a Derwent Onyx Dark and a Derwent Drawing Pencil Terracotta. Now, drawing pencils are the my most favorite range by Derwent, and I'd probably say texture wise, they are my top favorite pencils. I wish they had more color variety because there's only 24, and trust me. As I am one of the Durban's ambassadors, I have been begging them <laughs> to come out with more colors. So then we have the colors. Let's look inside the little set. So we have ink tans, graphite tint, tinted charcoal, and also pastel shades. So here we have four different ranges of paints, all super beautiful colors. These are great for portraits abstracts, anything like that. I've used them many, many times. There are some lovely um, tutorials and I'll also try to link up here the review with swatches so you can see all the colors swatched out and see if that's something you'd be interested in. So you get these lovely pencils with it. Okay, let's go back to the line makers. Now the line makers uh, come in black and sepia. So the set I have here has six different thicknesses going from 005, then 01, 02, 03, 05, and 08. So the 08 is quite chunky and they are gorgeous. In fact, I have swatched them out somewhere. I'll just try to find it. Okay, found it. So I have swatched them here. So these are the black ones. 
and here are the sepia ones so you can see the thicknesses of them and here I've been trying out a few erasers which I also want to recommend so there's this pack of two that you can get it's called slim eraser it is so good it's really tiny but it packs a punch it erases so so beautifully and uh, the good thing about it is that you can get into smaller areas because you can see it's uh, tiny and also the other eraser set I would recommend is this one here so it's called it's it's um it's a set of two one of them is soft art eraser and art eraser so this one I'd say it's uh, it felt very similar to the slim eraser just in a different shape so it says here highly effective erasing I felt that it did you know both of them did equally well also, by the way, this little one says here, eco-friendly, recyclable, non-toxic, PVC and latex free. PVC and latex free and PVC and latex free. So for those who have latex allergy, these are great. Um, the soft art eraser, now that was another great discovery. So basically, uh, I think this one was the art eraser and this is the soft eraser which basically erases in a soft line. So it's great if you, for example, want to create some lovely highlights and you want a softer line. So that's a very good one. And since we are on the subject of erasers, the next one I will recommend is this one. So this is a bit of a <laughs> uh, more, you know, upscale, eraser but it is so good so you can charge it it doesn't need any batteries you can charge it from your uh, computer i wrote down Derwent eraser here so i know what the cable is for and um it charges super quickly it's got a button here which you basically hold to erase and it has two thicknesses of eraser so this is the regular one very simple, just pull it out as a metal here that holds it in and then replace it or, you know, pull it out as you go and then replace it eventually once you run out. Or if you wanted the thinner one, there is an adapter here, which you put the thinner into here and then inside there. Um, so yeah, super impressed. Now with that eraser, you can do these fine liners. You just need to get used to it because it is quite powerful. So don't glide with it. And first time I held it like that, which just went everywhere, but hold it like a pen, rest your hand on top of the paper and then, you know, do precision work and you can get some fine details to add to your art. And you can do little highlights, for example, if it's like portraiture or illustration. Uh, it's just superb for that. Also for botanical art, I'd say it's very, very useful. So yeah, highly recommend this one. And let's come back to the uh, line markers. So the other color is the sepia and you have three in this set. I don't remember them coming in a bigger set like the black ones. Maybe they did, but I don't remember. So I've got this one here, which is 01, 03 and 05. And they are, color-wise, they're quite, uh, they're, qu they're quite faint. I found them compared to some other sepias, quite faint. So let's see the other sepias I have. So I've got the Faber-Castell Pit Artist. It's more darker, like more browner color. Let's see if you can see, which is supposed to be also sepia. Uh, and then you can see how faint these are next to it. And then there's a uni pin in sepia as well. And they are lighter in color than the uni pin. So. Hopefully that's a good comparison for you. I don't think I have any other sepias. No, that's it. Um, yeah, so it's it could be quite useful if that's something you are looking for. Do I have anything else left out? Okay, pencils. Pencils is what I wanted to show you next. So let's go back to the drawing tin. 
and this is the same tin 24 that I turned into this so keep in mind you can really do different things with it just doesn't have to be the tin that it is for the pencils you can buy a cheapy tin like this to keep your pencils in and then use this tin for your watercolors for example um, well it depends how you like doing things if you like them in one tin like that then obviously keep them here so I am missing some colors from here because I have them scattered all over my studio but absolutely love them couldn't recommend them more they come in this beautiful neutral color palette if you love bright uh, colors this set will not be for you probably but I adore them please please Dervant come out with more colors desperately would love them um, desperately need them and would love them so these are fantastic uh, the why they're fantastic the pigment lay is gorgeous you can just continuously layer colors and it just keeps on taking it it's remarkable really really beautiful I haven't come across the same exact the same from other pencils uh, if you like layering for example but if you like colors to be just as they are straight from the pencil they're also very beautiful then the other set I would recommend is this big 72 ink tents and this is my first ever Dervant pencil set that I purchased myself a long time ago and you can see also a couple of pencils I'm missing but again they are super fun these are water soluble and they um, are super super pigmented it's like ink in, in a shape of a pencil that you then put water to and it just becomes gorgeous the Durban drawing pencil forgot to mention they are just pencils they're not water soluble and then another non water soluble pencil is the light fast and this is just an empty tin now because I have taken all of mine it's also 72 tin I have placed mine into this uh, pencil case which you can find on Amazon I'll try to link it if I can still find it and so all of my pencils are now like a little book that I can quickly refer to and let's see what else do we have and finally oh yes yeah, so the pencils that I mentioned right at the start the Derwent graphite tint they are also a water soluble pencil so it's like colored graphite basically and you can see the range of the colors is lovely you've got some really unique colors that you wouldn't find uh, amongst other brands that uh, have tinted graphite okay so I think this is everything that I wanted to mention I'm just looking around thinking have I forgotten to mention anything I don't think I have and um, thank you for watching I will see you next time